My name is Chris. I have a 2020 Subaru BRZ. Uh, my at is bum underscore RZ. Uh, I wanted to have, you know, BRZ in the name. I couldn't come up with anything uh, that stood out. So I, one of my friends was like, bum RZ. So we can, uh, we, that's a kind of like a, a thing going on in the group. We just call each other bums. I came about it because I was looking at uh, getting a new car. I was driving a 96 Honda Civic um, EJ6, uh, if I'm correct. But um, yeah, I was saving up money, looking for cars, and I was looking at it. Actually, I was looking at an STI, uh, 2017 at the time, 2017 uh, STI, and uh, I was. I just kept looking, looking, and I mean, I was looking through Subaru cars, and I found the BRZ. Um, and I fell in love with it the way it looked, not um, the 2016, I should say. I fell in love with the way it looked, um, the way it just, like, it's a performance or a performance car. It's more for, like, mountains, canyons, you know, track, drifting. Um, yes, it's, I know it's a slow car, but, uh, I mean, I didn't care about power. I'm, I'm more of just, like, having fun with the car. And, um... Yeah, so I actually had a 2016 BRZ before this. Uh, purchased it in 2017, maybe or 2018 of September. But uh, I actually accidentally wrecked it, uh, and the rear or the front end kind of caved in a little bit. Uh, insurance totaled it. I got cashed out, and then I just swapped all my parts onto this 2020 BRZ. And uh, I mean, I love it. It, um, interior is a little different. Uh, facelift, I love it. I love the facelift. The you know, there's a good amount of things that stand out that uh, from the previous gen, and I, I would say it's a little upgrade compared to the last uh, generation I had. So for the front, uh, it's not too much. I do have uh, the Maxton Design uh, V2 or V3 front lip. It is uh, ABS plastic, so this thing tends to break. This is my third lip, I would, I think, third or four, third lip, third lip. Um, yeah, Maxton design, and then little thing, uh, little detail, the little uh, clear side markers. Everyone in the 86 community usually gets those, uh, preferably over the orange OEM ones, because they just don't look good. Uh, like even on like or even, like blue on orange, it just doesn't look too well. Um, and then for the sides. Um, here, let me bring out my light. So I had the Basin R uh, TRD Rep uh, side skirts. They uh, they fit pretty good, pretty spot on. Uh, it's just my mistake on like little details. They just pop out right here. But I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I did get it paint matched um, blue, and then I have a little accent. You can't really tell, or you can't really tell, but it's black. So just to you know, give it like a little just to pop out a little bit. Um, as for the wheels, I have Work Emotion M8Rs. They're not too common. Um, a lot of people usually get the CR Kais, Kwamis, whatever you want to call them. Um, and for the rear, I have these little aprons. I keep forgetting what they're called, but um, I also had them paint matched uh, blue and black by my friend uh, Danny, Danny Salazar. He'd, um, yeah, he, uh, he paint matched them pretty, pretty freaking good. And uh, for the rear, I have, uh, or for the rest of the rear, I have a little lip up top. Spoiler, I can't really see in this light, but let me see. It's uh, just like a little detail, you know? And uh, have little stickers, kind of what I run a little bit. Tomei uh, Vanish, my homie uh, Gio. He uh, has a little uh, brand called Vanish. Uh, on Instagram, Vanish. And then uh, Sad Boys, like everyone else, had this since I was like, since I had the first generation, or yeah, first gen uh, BRZ, I had it since like 2017. Just bought another one to slap it on this one. And uh, what else, what else? That's about it for the exterior. Uh, for suspension, I, I have a lot of suspension. So for the front end, I have Buddy Club P1 lower control arms. I'm running Megan uh, track series, uh, coilovers. Um, and then for the rear suspension, I'm running SPC two toe arms Buddy Club P1 control arms uh, I do have trailing arms making trailing arms or making racing trailing arms um, I just haven't installed them yet 
I'm waiting to get my uh, Racer X um, rear upper control arms because I don't want to, you know, have to put them on uh, or install them, get an alignment, and then get the uppers and then get another alignment. So I'm just going to knock those two out at the same time. So for the exhaust, I'm running Tomei unequal length headers. I do have a uh, NVIDIA High Flow Cat uh, front pipe. I actually ordered a Tomei ADR front pipe about in July, maybe. Um, it's been on back order ever since, and supposedly it's supposed to come in the end of this month, but we'll see. Um, and then for the uh, cat back, I'm running the Tomei ADR uh, cat back. It's uh, it's pretty loud. It's uh, the three inch, so it's uh, it has a nice uh, the Tomei unequal length headers and the ADR give a nice, a really nice rumble. And uh, especially when it's in the high RPMs, you hear just the boxer engine just. Like, it just sounds really good, especially when you're above 7K. It redlines at 7.4, so you have only 400 RPM to, you know, really enjoy it. But it screams, and I, I love it. I really love it. So for the interior lights, they are Type S from AutoZone. Um, they're, I mean, there's probably like around uh, 80 to 100 colors you can, or not 80, like probably like 50 colors you can choose from. I chose purple because I just like purple and blue. Um, I did get a uh, light, uh, dome light that's purple just to match, you know, with the color scheme. Um, and then I have these, this endless um, mirror. You can't really see it, the battery's kind of dying. I need to replace it, but it's uh, Playboy Bunnies. I don't know why I chose Playboy Bunny, but I just, uh, I just wanted something to complement the, the interior since I had the uh, football lights already installed. And um, other interior, things I do have a likewise shift knob let me see right here likewise shift knob um, I forgot what um, the name of it is called but uh, I went with this one because it's it has a nice uh, grip to it it has like these little uh, like indentations where you can it, it'll help you know uh, when if you go to the track it'll help you you know um, get better grip of the shifter which you know I do plan on tracking the car eventually but so this will come this will help in the long term and other things I have I don't really have anything else in interior wise I mean I do want to uh, you know get bucket seats or uh, Recaros or Sparkos but I mean these are heated so I want to keep the heated seats it's just you know if I have money to blow then possibly but other than that there's not much that I have interior wise future plans um, so first off exterior wise I do want to get a carbon hood uh, VIS but I do want to get a paint matched blue just to um, obviously match with the rest of the car because I feel I feel as if you get a carbon hood you might as well get a carbon trunk but I like my trunk the way it is um, and you know people also do have the car the Sabon carbon uh, fenders and I mean possibly I might get those but I'm looking at uh, Todoroki, Todor, Todor, Todoroki, uh, over fenders. No, no, not over fenders. Just regular fenders. Extend. Uh, it's plus thirty. Um, they're meant to fit uh, eight, uh, ten to ten point five uh, inch width wheels, and which is what I have currently. So um, that's pretty much for the front. The rear end. I don't really have any other plans. Like I said, I like my trunk. Um, uh, I mean, there's. I already finished the rear end the way it is, um, and then for wheels, I do have 10, 18 by 10 and halfs. I do want to go more uh, function because these are not really meant for the setup I have. It's like 6.7 uh, uh, degrees of camber in the rear, and then 3.4 in the front. And I rub. I can't really take it through the canyons, especially with like as stiff as the suspension is. I can't really do much when the, the road is pretty rocky because um, I don't really have travel in the suspension so it'll actually get some air and uh, yeah, there's an FB <laughs> it's clean and that one's on BBS yes sir but, uh, but yeah so I do want to get uh, functional wheels just typical 18 by 9 and a half I know a lot of people go 17 by 9 but I just want the 18 by 9 and a half because I mean, I'm not going full track setup, and the wheels I plan on getting are 50 or the Gramlite 57 CRs. They're the five-spoke ones, or the SSR 
GT X03s, uh, other five spoke wheels. They're very similar, it's just the SSRs are slightly different on the spokes. Um, and then, uh, I mean, I do want to boost the car, turbocharge it. Uh, I'm, I don't know exactly which turbo, which uh, company I'll go with. I know full blown motorsports, they're the top of the line type of. Uh, they, they or they provide that like top of the line turbo kits, but that's really expensive. You're talking about like six to seven k. Um, so I'll probably I don't know maybe HKS um, uh, because the car is already it's not carb legal, so it's not carb compliant. So I mean, might as well you know just full send it. Um, anything else? Anything else? Uh, I can't really think of anything else for exterior wise. Interior wise, like I said, possibly bucket seats. Um, if you know I have the money to, to blow on that uh, I like the steering wheel as it is I don't want to get a quick release um, possibly oh I am looking at, at getting a half cage for the, obviously the rear um, I want to get it powder coated white just to match the scheme the color scheme because it's uh, blue and then white wheels just to match with it and um, I, like I said tracking it and then I, I do want to drift it as well so it'll help you know with the chassis um, the flex so, um, what else, what else? That's pretty much it, I think, for the, for our future plans. Maybe something will come up if I, you know, do more research on parts or if I check out other people's uh, 86 builds and, you know, maybe I like something that they have and I want to get it. It's gonna be uh, my first time in uh, a BRZ 2020. I know your passenger is usually someone else, <laughs> but uh, let's see. Let's feel how it is. That was only three. That was only three k. So <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of it gets pretty loud. Uh, let me try to get on the street really quick. Yeah. Just try your best not to scrape. I know this isn't the best area for your car. Mm. Should we go? Let's see. I uh, think this one isn't bad. Nah, this is not bad. It's just uh. Oh yeah, it's not. I just like the straightaway right here. So. Oh, okay. Take it to take it. Uh, well, you know, I'll hit rev limiter. Whatnot. First and second gear, I feel like forever you're stuck there because <laughs> it's just zero to 60 time is like seven seconds, something like that. So it's not the fastest car. Sounds really good though. Oh, yeah, like. I typically share the shifts are from about like 2.5k to 3k, um, so that's where I typically shift. So, um, and that's the, the sweet spot for like the Subaru Rumble, or that Rumble. It's about, I think like 3K? Let's see.
I love it. Uh, I'm, I don't know how that front pipe is going to do. Uh, the one I was talking about uh, before, I don't know how that Tome front pipe is going to sound with the rest of the exhaust. Because uh, I'm moving from a 2.35 inch uh, diameter uh, high flow cat or high flow front pipe to a uh, 3 inch uh, what's it? Uh, what's it called? Catless front pipe. So I'm hoping it'll, you know, give it a little bit more loud and then uh, I'll be happy with it. Um, but yeah, I do, there is there is the little joint pipe right beneath us, but I mean, Tomy does make it along with like uh, NVIDIA and I think P PLM, but uh, it's not too much of a, it doesn't make any difference. It's literally just a, a re reworked joint pipe. It, no gains from it, no sound uh, difference. It, it, it's a, I guess you could call it a flex if you do ha if you do get it you know mm -hmm. go full Tomei but um, other than that there's nothing to it I, so I'm gonna just leave that there and uh, yeah I don't have anything else oh no no uh, I'm running stock uh, air air intake there's not really much of a difference when you uh, swap it over uh, other than induction noises so I'm not I'm not really full bolt on as much as I would like to be. I mean, why waste the money, you know? So, I mean, maybe in the future. Who knows? have any uh, tune I do have the open flash tablet but I haven't done anything to it because um, for the tablet I I guess they haven't made a 2020 uh, US spec tune for it that's specifically for manuals I'm not too sure about automatics I haven't looked into it um, but yeah I mean I can ask I think his name is Shiv I can ask him to make a custom tune but honestly I'm probably just gonna sell it on offer up or something and then uh, what else what else um so yeah it's just not really it's not tuned at all if i can scrape my hair oh no i'm chilling but um yeah so it kind of uh, backfires a little bit once i get that uh catalyst front pipe from tomei i'm hoping it'll spit a little bit more then i'll be pretty happy